Well, my friends, we're alive for about an hour or so. Let's get everybody fired up. All right, let's see if it's, nope, it's not on there. So let me see where we're at. Hang on, my friends. We are going to try to uh, see if we can't get a live shot going here. Amen. So give me a second, friends. Hang on here. There we go. We got it live. We're kicking off Facebook ministry page. We're going into the book of Hebrews. And, uh, amen. All right. So let me get this uh, set up here. Ready to go, my friends, because we're live on the air. We're getting everybody uh, in the house. And uh, I guess it's not uh, 4th of July now. It's a little after 12. So it is the 5th of July, my friends. Uh, amen. And hang on here, friends. We're getting everybody uh we're getting everybody loaded up ready to go uh yeah oh my gosh i am trying to multitask here again we're setting up our facebook page uh so give me a second here friends all right and all right So give me a second here. Uh, let's see if I can multitask here. All right. So hang on a second here. We got everybody in the house except Facebook. We got to get them guys loaded and rolling. All right. So... Uh, let's see if we can multitask here, friends. So give me a second. He, uh, over at, uh, over at our, uh, Spreaker Studio and uh, a couple of minutes here into our anchor.com. Uh, let me get, uh, Facebook rolling. Amen. So give me a second here, friends. We are loaded up, ready to go. And uh, so give me a second here, friends. <sighs> you know how we like to do it, friends. I like to cover all the bases. All right, we're going. I think it's going. All right, Facebook, what is going on? We're in the house, worldwide, live. Uh, ministry podcast, late night, early morning. Pastor Rick Bell here live. I got some messages, friends. I've got a lot of stuff. Uh, we've got all the new, all the new equipment loaded up and ready to go. So let me let me get this up here. See if we're on the air here. I uh, got all the upgrades, some one of the upgrades going, and so I wanted to make sure that we're in. I think we're in. I don't know, but I know we're live at Spreaker.com right now. Uh, and we are live at the uh, Anchor page, friends. So that is cool. I am glad about that. Uh, and I have a lot to go. I have a lot to share with you. Uh, I'm going to try, try to get this in here. we got about an hour at Anchor. Uh, but I uh, we've done the uh, uploads on our Spreaker channel. Right here at Facebook, friends. Uh, it is going into Thursday morning already. Amazing, friends. Amazing. So hopefully it seems like it's trying to go live. So if you happen to have the Facebook page, I thank you guys so much. You guys are so awesome at the support. Now, I have a list. Hey, we're on the air live. I've got a list of uh, some support. You know how I always do, friends. Cup of Coffee, Big Book of Love, uh, Bibles, of course, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, uh, all that good stuff. You know how we roll. You know what we do. We start out like that. Uh, I'm going to go into a prayer. I got a lot to cover. We're going to read a little bit of the book of uh, Hebrews out of the Orthodox Study Bible. 
And uh, so as I am multitasking, trying to get this uh, get this set up to make sure we're on, I think we're on. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. So we've got everybody in the house. We've got all the channels going and rolling. Amen. And uh, so as I, I'm going to be kind of going back and forth here, friends, with you and uh, seeing where we're at right now, because I know I'm loading up the Facebook page. Got a lot to give you, friends, right off the bat, out of the gate. We've got so much. Now, let me maneuver my camera, friends. I found an old phone, uh, my old, old phone that uh, I thought didn't work anymore, but I kind of prayed on it, did a little update, and it happens to work for the camera. And that works, uh, because God wants his message to get out. So we're all over the place, friends. I got uh, three headsets, uh, three microphones going on, uh, and we are. I'm just glad to be out here. Glad to get this message out. Got a lot to give you, so we're gonna just punch right through this. Get right through this right now. Uh, we're gonna be looking at Ephesians six ten and twenty. Of course, the armor of God. We but got to get prepared at all times and got to uh, have that armor of God on. So I am, okay, there it is. Uh, we are live. I've got the multi-channel here going on. I want to make sure that uh, we've got some volume and you know how that goes, friends. So I'm going to be kind of looking over your shoulder this way just a little bit and uh, all right. So there we go. Uh, it works. There we go. All right. So we do have volume, friends. That was my playback. I wanted to make sure that uh, I wanted to, to wanted to make sure it was on, clicking, ready to go. Amen. And it looks like we do have volume on there. So that is good. That's a good sign. Amen. God is good. Hey, we're having a late night church here, friends. Uh, glad to do it. Glad to be on here. Uh, got the coffee. Had a great big 4th of July spread. So give me a second here. Let me, let me make sure. I don't want that feedback going on. So it, uh, wants to roll around there a little bit. So, uh, I'm going to be just checking a couple of times here, friends, to make sure that the, uh, I don't have a whole lot of feedback here because it's plugged into the system. And, uh, I've got the new, uh, wired set here. That's pretty cool. So let's just get right into the message, friends. You know, I always got to do some shout outs here to my friends. Uh, you guys have been supporting this stuff pretty cool. And I, I appreciate that deeply. Uh, I'm just called in to, to, to come in and shepherd and just do this message. Uh, not worry, you know, just, uh, just give it to God. I'm doing that uh, all the time and grateful and, and glad to uh to do it i'm just uh appreciate uh, you guys to uh you know to hang out uh sometimes i rabble too much just kind of stray a little bit but uh somebody told me that uh, you talk too much i'm like yeah you're right i talk too much about god because i know what he did for me i know what he saved for me so i appreciate you guys so much that is so cool all right so hang on here friends I have lots of feedback going on, uh, so, all right, so here we go. I want to give some shout-outs to some friends of mine that have been supportive and uh, really cool with this, and uh, just be uh, give me encouragement, uh, because, you know, friends, we know the devil is the discourager, and Jesus Christ is the encourager, and so... Uh, it ain't going to happen no more. And I got a scripture for that, by the way. I have a something, something for it. All right, let's get into the shout outs here. You know, I got to do this uh, right before we get going here. Uh, we've got uh, Brother Mark over at the uh, Facebook page, Kristen uh, Watchers of the 2017 and 24 Solar Eclipses group. Uh, appreciate the support and the, you know, the fact that you guys are putting up the the podcast that is amazing and uh that is cool so i appreciate that of course miss christina uh always appreciate your support uh that is awesome 
Sophie in Switzerland, my CBN friend. I have been ministering and, and uh, uh, sharing scriptures for over five years now, and it's just she's coming along so well. So, Sophie, hang in there, honey. We're, we're praying for you. We're keeping you in our thoughts and prayers. And, uh, of course, friends, I have a CBN channel. Uh, my CBN uh, has been graciously uh, supporting and helping with the podcast and uh, sending Bibles all over the world. That is amazing. Uh, that is cool. I've got friends all over the place. You guys are awesome. Uh, Laura, my friend, of course, longtime friend. I uh, appreciate your support and always praying for you. Um, and of course, right here at the Facebook page, how can we forget Miss Tiffany Blackwell at the, uh, what is it, uh, Tiffany Blackwell Ministries here. Uh, you guys have seen in the last several months or several weeks, I've been posting and resharing her uh, ministries. You got to check that out, friends. That is such a holy anointing and anointed uh, spirit-filled message, friends. You got to check her out, friends. Amen. All right, and to everybody, of course, everybody all over the world on the podcast, friends, channels. I, you know, that's why when I had that vision and the, the Spirit gave me that, to change that over to Worldwide Live Ministry uh, podcast, um, that blew me away. But it's not surprising because, uh, you know, the the spirit said enlarge your territory, and that's what I did. Well, I didn't do it; the spirit did. Started shifting me into all these different scriptures, and uh, it was pretty cool. And so that's why uh, you know I just from the bottom of my heart, friends, I appreciate you guys so much. God is good all the time, Amen. And I hear the church say what. And he's good all the time. Amen. That's right. So we're live. I appreciate you guys all over the world, all over the podcast channel. Hey, I forgot my good pastor friend uh, who's also on uh, my CBN, Twitter, and uh, Periscope channel friends. My good friend, Pastor Oni. Konnichiwa. Domo arigato. I appreciate the, the support. That is so cool. Uh, and also my other good friend in uh, Yokohama, Midori. That is so cool. Appreciate you guys. All over the world, spreading this message out. That's what we got to do. Uh, all right, we're live, friends. It is not Member X. We are live right now, right here. Uh, Facebook, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast channel. Anchor.com and the updated uh, version of uh, our Spreaker studio. That's now going over, friends. We are broadcasting over at iTunes iHeartRadio, Spotify, I, you know, check the pages, friends, because I'm trying to update the scheduling, uh, but uh, God, is, uh, God is good, friends, he's uh, updating and sending all this stuff out, so we're here in the studio after 4th of July, I got the new updated uh, headset on, you know, I've been talking about getting one for such a long time and we just happened to get one happened to run across the place we're updating our our studio here uh pastor craig day is uh off the mountain uh in the valley of peace and he is uh just getting ready friends wait until you hear uh the ministry the podcast he's he's going to be doing it's going to put tears in your eye of joy or for of joy and uh Bring you to your knees, friends. Uh, it's not kidding. I have been, uh, you know, this is going to be great. Uh, we're we've got uh, complete, uh, kind of different, separate podcast uh, missions. God, the Spirit has given me the the, the teaching spirit. Uh, is I I'm not kidding, friends. I was called rabbi, which I guess I because I'm teaching and I'm grace teaching here. Uh, teach you that's what the the rabbi means that's he's a teacher and that's what uh, the spirit has given me to do uh, as I keep my you know I keep my focus on what God wants me to do and listen to the spirit and uh, I am grateful and humbled to bring this message to you and yes I love to rabble so much or ramble on I'm not rambling on I'm just talking giving you the word of God I got my coffee 
Where is it? I got to find it. Let's get it out here, friends. Hot, off the grill, ready to go. We're set. It's late night. We're podcasting and broadcasting God's good word. Can you dig it, my friends? Amen. All right. Well, I know you probably don't, I, I don't know about that, but you probably don't go to church and have coffee while you're in a church, but you know, we're having late night church, friends. All right. I keep forgetting my microphone is live. Uh, that is live, friends. It's plugged in. And uh, <laughs> I keep forgetting I, I run my coffee cup into that thing. And then it makes all kinds of noise. And then I got the mic clip. Uh, that is set up um, to our Spreaker studio uh, live. And then, of course, you can see the third microphone is going into the whole system. Uh, so, it, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of an operation, but, uh, it's good. So let's get going. Shall we, pastor, would you just get to preaching? We're having church and you just, yeah, I know friends, but I got to get this done. I appreciate you guys. Let's get into it, friends. Now we've got the big book of love. We got the coffee, we've got the pens, papers, notebook, tablets, so much. Notes now, friends. If you're taking notes, um, I am going to be doing the continued because I haven't had a chance to do this. Uh, I haven't had a chance. We're going to do our Bible study, friends. Uh, I really need to do that. So, uh, I want to make sure that uh, you know we we get this message, friends. I, I've got to make sure. All right, so. Uh, as I'm just updating this thing, uh, hey man, holy cow, what a, what a thing, friends, you know, it's just amazing, uh, so I am trying to multitask here, but that's okay, hey amen, all right, so we've got the invites out, and, uh, I'm just gonna, hey, we're just gonna get right into it, so I'm praying, friends, I'm praying for everyone uh, to keep, uh, you know, keep your strength, keep your faith in God, keep your trust in God, no matter what it looks like. Don't get into the five senses and, uh, you know, thinking we've got to kind of handle things on our own because uh, we need God more and push to just get ourselves out of it and uh, put our faith and trust in God. So let's get into the message, friends. Uh, I've got a few. Uh, you know, I've got to give you the... Uh, the armor of God, and uh, I've got that pulled up. So, uh, where are we at here? Because I want to make sure. Because, uh, uh, let's see, where is it? I want to make sure. There it is. Hot off the press, armor of God, Ephesians 6 10 through 20. My brothers and sisters, we're having some late night church. Let's get on with it. Let's get it going. So, I got all that stuff out of the way. You guys know who you are. Appreciate you so much. Uh, as I'm, uh, you know, like I said, I've got uh, kind of a multitasking uh, spaceship going on here. We're in the studio. I was going to go uh, do some things this afternoon. It didn't happen. So I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to just hang out and uh, try to get some try to get some rest, get backed up on this stuff. So we're, we're hitting it out, friends. Uh, it is uh, 1 a.m. on the dial. I'm having God, we're in God's radio, friends. That's I just tell everybody I'm on God's radio. I'm just the manager, steward, amen. So let's get on with it. Let's get right into the message, friends. I'm going to pray for you, uh, as we usually do. Uh, just do an opening prayer, and then I'm going to get into the armor of God out of the NLT living water for those who thirst, because I know I thirst. Uh, I hope you guys do, too. Uh, I've got some messages from the cornerstones in the book of uh, uh, Ephesians. Now, I finished off with chapter 5 yesterday, or the it was yesterday, the other podcast. And uh, so I'm going to be doing uh, kind of from Ephesians 5 too. It's a little bit uh, on the cornerstones. Now, if you're taking notes, that's why your pens and papers and notebook papers come in handy. Uh, write the scriptures down, friends, and then just meditate. Sit, hang out, meditate on them. Uh, and then when you're, 
you know, when you're when you kind of having that moment, uh, don't just don't let the moment have you, friends. And I'm going to give you some scriptures. Uh, going to be a couple little messages, and then I, I do want to read the uh, the book of Hebrews, friends. So if you got your Bibles, mark that in. We're going to go into chapter ten. Friends, in the book of Hebrews, out of the Orthodox Study Bible, my good friend Pastor gave me that book, and I've been studying it, studying it, what? That's not a word, studying it, I'm studying the Word of God, in the Word of God, all the time, uh, amen, and then I want to do the uh, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends, that's how the Spirit gave that to me, amen, all right, are you ready, your coffee's on. Uh, get your table all set up here. Get your juice, your coffee, whatever you got to do, friends. Grab your Bibles, of course, because that's what we do in the ministry, right? We're preaching and teaching the Word of God, Amen. And I'm, I am, uh, friends. I'm ecstatic about the Word. Uh, you know that. And that's why I'm, I'm so excited. I'm in my rocker chair. I don't have the wheel because I'm still not driving. It has been some time now, and I have not. I just let go of that wheel, turned it over to God. I am not driving, no steering wheel. Rocker seat's ready to go. Coffee is uh, ready. Let's get going, friends. I'm going to open up prayer uh, and uh, stretch out a little bit. Uh, uh, and just uh, take notes, friends, because I'll give you a few scriptures, and I hope this uh, helps. Um, and, uh, man, I just... I just hope uh, some of the scriptures that I've been giving you actually, uh, help, you know, I, they help me. So I'm glad I can help you. Amen. Because that's what the Spirit wants. So hang on. I am uh, kind of updating here just a, just a bit. I wanted to make sure I got everybody sent out. Amen. And, all right, friends, let's open up in prayer, shall we? We're having some church tonight, this morning. Is it? It's, it's already morning. I haven't been on Facebook in a while. So, uh, I know, I'm going to get on, I'm going to get started. We're going to just get going. All right, Heavenly Father, we just come before you right now as we gather together in your word and hear your word as we are hearers of the word and doers of the word. And uh, I just come before you right now and just give you thanks, honor, and praise, and glory as we lift your name up and lift you up. Uh, Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for everything you provide, everything you've given. And uh, I'm just so grateful and humbled and honored to uh, preach and teach your word that you have instilled in me for such a long time. And I'm able to get that word out. So I want to pray right now for all my friends. Uh, everybody listening, uh, viewing, that can hear these channels, hear these podcasts. And, you know, I'll just give it to you, God. I just raise this up to you, lift this up to you. I want to I pray for the friends and, and all the friends that are struggling uh, with uh, depression, anxiety, uh, panic, worry, stress, and strife. Take that all away, God. I just uh pray right now i want to give uh psalms 91 pray psalms 91 of protection with the feathers around them right now lift them up encourage them because you know i know father god that uh the devil is the discourager and you are the encourager as you en encourage me and, and encourage uh encourage everyone uh, as we rely on you and not of ourselves, God, and put put you first, and uh, you know we just we just thank you so much, God. And uh, as I continue on this mission, um, I continue on with what you have called me to do uh, in in your heavenly name. So I just thank you right now, and wrap the, uh, the 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 feathers of protection around my family, friends. Uh, the 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 viewers, anybody can hear these podcasts. Hopefully, it makes sense to them. I know that you will clarify it for them and give them an insight revelation uh, as I read your word tonight in the book of Hebrews. As we continue this Bible study, I just lift this up to you right now and give it all to you, God. 
as you keep as you keep uh, feeding me, as the Spirit keeps feeding me with your word, God, I just lift this up to you and thank you so much. Uh, let this uh, podcast with these words and messages, God, let let these touch somebody's heart and uh, and enlighten them and bring them to you, God. So I just give this to you right now. Uh, I, I, I just keep doing this mission. Just a voice in the wilderness that's calling out your name. Uh, I just lift this up to you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Let's get on with the messages. You know, I got a lot to give you. I got so much stuff. I don't even know where to start half the time. That's I'm just going to give you the message. I know, but you know what, friends? Armor of God, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Do you have your Bibles? Would you get the dust off them? Take them out from underneath your beds. You can got, you can get it. I got time, so go ahead. Hurry up. Go run up there. Go grab them. Let's get going. And if you don't have one, friends, would you email me? Uh, would you find them and email me? I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get you one, friends. Amen. All right. So, yes, we got a full schedule. Every day, 3.30, Blog Talk Radio. Uh, man, I got so much on I'll, I'll post them. You guys check this out. I got a lot going on. 3.30 every day, Blog Talk Radio. Anchor. Uh, what do we got? CastBox, Facebook, YouTube. Bible study continued uh, later on tonight uh, in the book of Luke. Uh, King James Version. But I'm I'm doing this right now. This We're, we're, we're here. We're, we're doing a Bible study, friends. I'm going to give you some scriptures, so take notes. I hope they, they touch your heart like they do mine. Amen. Uh, what do we got? Anything? Uh-huh. Yep. All right. We're good. Right? You're good? Comfortable sitting in your good uh, your main bag chair, uh, your, your comfy chair, your bed. You're sitting here watching, watching this. Okay. Thank you guys so much. You know what? High fives and big hugs to you all the way around. Amen. Uh, all right. We're ready to go. We're fired up. We're in the new studio, friends. It's early morning uh, podcast uh, Bible study continued in uh, in the book. Uh, hang on here, friends. Amen. All right. Got a messenger call going on here. and I got to get that out. Oh, my gosh. Uh, hang on here, friends. Oh my gosh. Hang in here, friends. Hang on, hang on just a second here. All right. Uh, hang on here. Just a second here. I got a call coming through. Uh, just a minute here. All right. See, that's my friend, and uh, so just a second here, my friends, hang on, we're going to get through this here, I just got to let her know that uh, I'm on the air. All right, so let me get in there, and hang on here. All right, so where are we at here? Hold on just a second. All right. So we're still going here, friends. We are still, uh, we are still going, uh, So hang on here. All right. So hold on. We're going to get this going again here. Uh, Got to jump back over here. And uh, so just a second. Let me get back over here. And... Uh, 
We're going to go back over to our Facebook page and hang on here. So just a second here, friends. Uh, all right, so we're having a little bit of technical issues here. Just a second here, friends. All right. All right, so there, we're on. All right. So, hang on here, friends. We are still trying to kick this off. Go back on here. We're live right now. Spreaker's still going. Uh, amen. And uh, we're, still, we're still going here. Uh, my gosh. So hang on, friends. All right, let me uh, let me get this thing going here, and um, so let me continue this. Amen. A friend came in, called in, and uh, so I want to make sure. All right. All right, hang on, friends. Just stand by. We're going to continue our message here. And uh, I got kind of a slow computer here that's kind of a, uh, taking a little bit of time. So, all right. So, we are going to continue this. All right. Hang on here a second, friends. We're going to get this going. All right. All right, friends, we're back. Uh, a friend of mine called in and didn't realize I was on the air, but... That's okay. Uh, we got our uh, we got the beginning part of this kind of recorded already, so you guys can catch that. Sorry about the, you know, uh, my friend just didn't know that I was on the air. That's okay. Um, so uh, we're going to continue this podcast uh, as I go on the main channel. Uh, just. On here, recording at Anchor.com. Spreaker.com is up and running. We have did the upgrades, so we're going to spend a little time tonight, give you some messages. Uh, we're going to continue our Bible study in the book of Hebrews. I'm going to open up, well, we just did the prayer, but I'm going to open up with uh, uh, the, uh, the book of Ephesians. Uh, and uh, continue uh, the reading for our Bible study um, and uh, just get uh, Ephesians 6, 10, and 20. We might, uh, I'm going to go check back in uh, chapter 5 um, and uh, as I'm checking the monitors here, I want to make sure we got plenty of sound and uh, it looks like it's doing all right. So, all right, my family, we're going to continue with our Bible study tonight. Uh, let me adjust the camera again because I want to make sure you guys can see me and hear me okay. So give me just a second. There we go. I got a new little stand here, so that's cool. Uh, let me move that over so you guys can see or hear the microphone. I wanted to make sure that uh, you guys could hear me all right. 
And, uh, of course, you know, that's, I got the clip on now, the mic clip. So I've got three mics going on, three different channels all over the place. Bye. Uh, it's crazy. Let's get into it, friends. Armor of God, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, the uh, book of Hebrews. I want to continue that Bible study because I haven't done it yet. Uh, I haven't been on there. So we're going to be looking at chapter 10, friends. So get your Bibles. Make sure you got everything out. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to look at, uh, the armor of God. Cause you know, I, I've, I've got to armor that up or armor you up, right? I know that clip keeps coming out. So, uh, I hope that, uh, you guys can hear me. Okay. With all that rustling around going on. Otherwise I've got to button up the top shirt. And, uh, so I might have to do that anyway, just to keep the, uh, the microphone from falling off. Uh, because I have uh, the mic clip, but yeah, and then I get choked out. So anyway, we're gonna try this anyway. It's my my dress shirt. I got dressed up for you, friends. Uh, I got the moth. There's that big moth that I was trying to get. Hang on, friends. Uh, I've been killing bees and and getting uh, all kinds of stuff going on up here. So, I want to make sure. There we go. All right. Are we good? Okay. I think I'm good. All right. Well, we prayed it in. See? It, it just wants to keep flipping around here, friends. And I I don't want that because I want to make sure that you guys can hear me okay. Uh, we're at Spreaker with a mic clip. So, you guys are getting the audio and the video. Uh, triple whammy tonight, friends. Amen. Late night, early morning. Uh, podcast. I know. See, I'm going to have to button this collar up. I don't wear the white collar, friends. Uh, I just don't do it uh, because there's a, a few reasons why, and you guys can private message me on that, but uh, as uh, I'm just uh, I'm messing with this thing, and I've been trying to get this straight, uh, and it's just it bothers me sometimes, but, uh, you know, uh, we're to uh, those of us that have been called into this, you know, we uh, we we should uh, dress appropriately and uh, speak as the oracles of God. So that's what I wanted to do. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'll talk to you later about that. All right, let's get into the message. Ephesians 6.10, the armor of God. Friends, let's get our Bible. Now, this is out of the NLT. Uh, see, that is not, it's not wanting to stay over where it needs to, and that is not good, all right? So, hang on, I'm going to have to get this fixed, because, uh, this is the microphone for, uh, for our uh, Spreaker Studio channel here, friends, and so that's probably going to be muffled, but that's okay. We'll get it fixed. We'll edit that or fix it or something. Anyway, my big hands across there. I see the monitor here. Uh, and so, uh, all right. So it's going late night, early morning. Let's talk about God, friends. Let's rabble about God. Let's get this going. Uh, do you got your Bibles? Ephesians. Oh. Hang on. All right. So that's the feedback, friends. It's going. Uh, all right. The armor of God. Now, final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the whole armor of God or God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. Uh, against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Uh, stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you'll be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery darts or arrows of the evil or the devil, right? Put on the salvation or put on salvation 
as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is, we know, friends, is the Word of God. Praying in the Spirit at all times, on every occasion, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all prayers or all believers everywhere. And pray for me too. Ask God to give me the right words so that I can boldly explain God's mysterious plan uh, that the good news is for Jews and Gentiles alike. I am, see, I had a bug just fly right by me. Last, I was on yesterday and I actually swallowed a, a gnat or something. I don't know what it was, but uh, you just never know, friends. We're live on the air, worldwide live ministry podcast. Amen. Uh, uh, as we look at 20, I am in chains now, still preaching this message as God's ambassador. So that prayer, so pray that I will keep on speaking boldly for him as I should be. Amen. All right. So let's go over to this one, friends. I did want to. Oh, that caught my attention, too. I See, I knew I'd get shifted here uh, as I'm looking for my notes, friends. Uh, it's funny, friends, but uh, I'm glad to do this. It does not bother me a bit, and I'm glad to uh, that I have uh, the material to share with you uh, on these podcasts. Uh, turn your Bibles, friends. Go over to 2 Corinthians uh, 5, 14, and 17, still in the NLT, uh, but you guys know this scripture, friends. Uh, this looks like a Bible study uh, discussion here, so hang on, let me highlight my highlights, and uh, let me get all this in there. All right. Are you there? I'll give you a minute to find it, friends. you got to check this out. It's a good scripture. I know this is calling to somebody here. Uh, recognize that you are, and uh, let me get that down there. Uh, I know I'm trying to balance all this stuff out. So look at this one right here, friends. Check this out. Recognize that you are a new creation. In 2 Corinthians 5.14, and 17 is the Spirit just shifted me right on over to this, this scripture, friends. I hope uh, it, it, it gets you here. Uh, although outwardly you may appear to be the same person, when you received Christ, you underwent a radical heart transplant. Friends, did you catch that? Uh, let me, it's so cool, I got to give it to you again. Let me get my notes here. Oh, uh, my gosh. All right, we're back. We're live, right? Uh, check this out, friends. Take notes. 2 Corinthians 5, 14 through 17. Uh, if you're taking notes, write that scripture down, friends. And uh, if you're, uh, look, we're doing a Bible study here. First steps, recognize that you are a new creation. Although outwardly, you may appear to be the same person. So many mics, friends. Can you believe this? This is cool. Uh, you may appear to be the same person. Uh, when you received Christ, you underwent a radical heart transplant. You literally became a new person, reborn in the Spirit, or a creation inside. Now, check this short passage out of Scripture highlights some encouraging points as you endeavor to be obedient to God, friends. And you got to ask yourself, are you diligently seeking Him? And uh, are you being obedient to God? All right, so check this out, friends. I, You know... I, and I, of course, wait, I got it, my pen. See, you got to keep track of this stuff. Amen. All right, so let me get my notes together here for a second. Friends, uh, feel free to stretch about the cabin. Get your coffee. Make sure you got your coffee, right? You do? All right, well, we're still live. Uh, we're over at our, as I'm looking at the other monitor up here, 
Uh, we're at uh, Anchor.com, friends, which is the Apple podcast channel. Uh, we just got added to uh, iHeartRadio. That's pretty cool. Uh, Amazon, Spotify, Spreak, all that. Th- Man, it's so cool. It's so cool. All right. So, if you're taking notes, uh, one through four, friends, can you do that for me? Uh, amen. Can you? I'll give you a second here. I'll let you get caught up because I got to do it too. Uh, this is pretty cool stuff here, and I'm uh, I'm just out here trying to feed your soul, friends. Amen. Because we are soul catchers, and that's what we're doing here, friends. Amen. All right. So one as new creations, uh, Christ's love compels us to please. God rather than ourselves. As new creations, we can look forward or beyond the packaging of a person to what is inside. And I'll go back over these, friends. So as new creations, we have become altogether different people. And number four is, as new creations, we have been given a clean slate, a fresh start, and a new nature. There you go, friends. Check it out, one through four. Hit TiVo and rewind and replay, because this is good stuff here, friends. Now, uh, the new nature which you have received is like a tender little flower. It takes time and effort to cultivate. You may find it uh, at uh, you may find it at times uh, hard at times to obey God and leave certain old habits behind at first or residue. But as you cultivate the new nature by spending more time with God through activities like prayer and Bible study, you will notice changes as the weeks, months, and the years go by. It does take time, friends. It's a transformation of your soul, a renewing of your mind. Uh, Amen. Now, a man from India was heard to compare our new spiritual nature and our old selfish one to two dogs constantly fighting with each other. He went on to say that he could determine which dog would win. When uh, asked how he determined which dog won, his response was, the one I need the most, of course, when you take time to feed your new spiritual nature, uh, as you are doing right now, You give it the edge in this ongoing conflict between good and evil, friends. Wow, that is cool. All right, well, let me get my notes over here. Uh, Okay, friends, let's do the sinner's prayer of salvation. If you say this this, uh, prayer, you accept Christ in your hearts. Uh, Get a a hold of us, friends. We'll pray for you. Uh, We'll take some time. We'll hang out. We'll, you know, do a Bible study here. Uh, we want you. Uh, we want to save you, friends. We want to give you something to meditate on. So uh, you guys can get a hold of us at uh, LifeGraceMinistry60 at gmail dot com anytime. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. We'll we'll get a hold of you, or you get a hold of us. We'll get a hold of you. Amen. Uh, all right, hang on. You know, I gotta have my coffee, but I gotta keep remembering. That I've got a microphone that's live, and I got to keep moving that thing out of the way. Um, all right, and also, friends, if you feel it in your your hearts, you feel it like uh, uh, we've got a new PayPal for donations set up to the ministry, uh, working diligently to bring you good messages, feed your soul, and and uh, help you through life's journey. So I appreciate you guys tuning in, hanging out, watching this stuff. I know sometimes it drifts a little bit, but that's because the Spirit is just giving me so much. I'm trying to cram everything into one, uh, you know, some effective uh, uh, spiritual food here, friends. I'm, that's what I want to do. It's, that's what I've been called to do. I know that it's from God, and I know this is what God wants me to do, so... Uh, so yeah, we appreciate that, friends. The uh, PayPal channel set up, we're ready to go, and uh, whatever's in your heart, friends. We just want to keep this ministry going, uh, and uh, you know, uh, we we'll just pray on it. And, uh, you know, we want to upgrade our channels. 
uh, so we can get more time. Uh, we're looking into upgrading Blog Talk Radio and, of course, uh, live stream TV. Uh, is Here in the near future, we'll get that going so we can bring you more good messages, friends, and feed your souls. Amen. All right. Now, hopefully, I won't sneeze. Uh, hang on. Uh, hold on just a second here, friends. <laughs> My friend... Uh, yes. So give me a second here, friends. Uh, all right. All right. So there we go, friends. You know, that's what happens. It's all right. All right. Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends. Let me get my other big notes here before I get into the message. Uh, because I definitely want to give you some scriptures here. Let me get this thing fixed in. Uh, and uh, get this message out. All right. Dear Jesus, I know I am a sinner, and I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I confess with my mouth, and I believe you are the Lord, and that God raised you from the dead. Forgive me of my sins and wash my heart clean, and come and live in my heart, and be the Lord of my life, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me to walk with you the rest of my life. Amen. All right, God is good, friends. All right, let me continue this. Uh, and I confess that I am a sinner, and I have prayed in uh, forgiving all those who have sinned against me. I ask for strength from the Lord to help me follow a path and lead others by the will of God. Amen, friends. Now, if you have said that prayer, and if you have accepted Christ into your hearts, would you get a hold of me here, friends? I appreciate that so much. We will, we will uh, talk to you. And uh, before I sneeze, <laughs> yes, there it is. I want to make sure I got the microphone up. Uh, so there you go, friends. I want to just make sure we got that message out. Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Sounds good. All right. Thank you so much for that. And uh, like I said, if you have uh, accepted Christ into your hearts, as I'm maneuvering this camera again, uh, let me know, friends. Email me. We'll talk. Uh, I'll send you some Bibles. If you don't got one, let us know. We'll send you one. Amen. July 5th, on the air live, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, sharing some messages with you, friends. Pastor Rick, we're out here live. Uh, so, all right. So we're just about winding down here at Anchor.com, friends. That'll be uploaded to the Apple channel. Uh, we just got a few more minutes over there, and then I'll be winding that down. So bear with me, friends. We may uh, have to just jump on over to another channel. I, well, I got still, we're in a Bible study, uh, friends. So I'm just going to do one chapter. We're in uh, chapter 10. In the book of Hebrews, uh, and I'm going to look at maybe two. So I think you guys can handle two chapters this morning, right? For the Bible study. So Hebrews chapter 10, chapter 11. Let me close out uh, before uh, this winds out of time here, because uh, we're just uh, we're at our anchor channel and. Uh, it's winding down the time, friends. So uh, I'm going to just do... It. We only got like an hour on this thing. So I'm trying to upgrade some of this stuff. Uh, all, all right. So uh, before we get into that, our closing... Uh, before we get into the book of Hebrews, because uh, this has got a few minutes, so I want to... I want to share this with our anchor family over here on the podcast here, friends. We've got about five minutes left. Uh, I'm going to look at uh, 1 Peter 5, 8, 9 real quick. Uh, you know the scripture, you know the verse uh, in 8 and 9 here. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Uh, resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing 
that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. All right. So, if the devil is seeking those he may devour, then there's a class of people whom he may not devour. As believers, we are part of that class. Uh, But when things begin to get difficult, we must remember who is on the inside. The same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead lives in us. As we look at Romans 8.11, this is the same spirit who was with Jesus when he walked on water, fed the 5,000, and performed all those miracles. And that same spirit is in us. Amen. All right, so I'll look at this here in a little bit, friends. We'll continue that. Uh, But I do want to get our Bible study we're closing out at anchor.com. You guys can find that uh, on uh, Spotify, CastBox. It's all over the place. Uh, check that out. I want to make sure that uh, that message got out. We're going to close up, but we're going to continue at Facebook. Uh, we're going to continue over at Spreaker.com, friends. We're in the Spreaker studio broadcasting live tonight, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, or this morning, I guess. It is morning, right? I know, you can tell I'm getting tired. Uh, but I am, that's the flesh getting tired. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is tired or weak. I, yeah, it's something like that. Uh, but my flesh is tired. It's been a long day, but uh, I've got to get this message out. Uh, it is important for me to get these messages out to you. So, build you up. All right, friends. Anchor.com. I appreciate you guys so much. That is so cool. I will talk to you soon. Again, Pastor Rick Rally here live, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast on the air. Uh, continuing at uh, Facebook ministry page and at Spreaker Studio, uh, CastBox and Blog Talk Radio. We're going to hit Twitter and Periscope live tomorrow, continuing our Bible study. Amen. And some scriptures. I'll just throw some stuff out there. Uh, That's it. We're out of here. Anchor.com. I'll see you soon again. Amen. Have a good morning. Blessed. Amen. All right. We're out of here. Anchor.com. That's it, right? Click. All right. It's done, my friends. You can check out that podcast. Uh, uh, Let me see if I can get it over here and lower to the end. Amen. Because I got to set it up and lower it in. Uh, so you guys can check that out uh, over at, well, it's at Anchor. And I'm trying to multitask here. Uh, amen. And I know that I got to maneuver this thing down here. So hang on here, friends. Let me get this maneuvered over. Oh my gosh. So, uh, is it going? Nope. Well, I'm trying to move this thing over. It's got a little setup here. And uh, you're supposed to maneuver it into the... (laughs) Maneuver it into this thing. So, give me just another second here, friends. Uh, it's, uh, it's not letting me put it in there, so. All right, so you can find it live, friends. It, uh, somehow, it's not letting me in there. I'm going to be playing with this thing all night trying to set this up. Uh, because it's supposed to, supposed to go over there and, uh, move it over there, but, oh my gosh. All kinds of good stuff going on, friends. Live. Uh, let me get this thing in here. So, uh, hang on here, friends. You know, it's always something. I try to get this message out, and I've always got something that interferes or, or tries to block this out and makes this distraction. So, uh, I'm going to let it just do its thing, do its cycle, and uh, I will try to fix it here afterwards. But uh, 
it's not letting me load in. Who knows? All right, let's get into Hebrews, friends. Let's uh, want to do this book. Got to do this Bible study, friends. Uh, you know, so get your Bibles. Let's look at chapter ten. Uh, I want to make sure we get this Bible study in here. Uh, the new worship accomplishes God's will. Uh, for the law, having a shadow of the good things to come, and not, uh, and not the very image of the things can never with the same or these same sacrifices. Uh, which they offer continually year after year, or year by year. Make those who approach perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered? For the worshippers once purified would have had no more consciousness of sin, or consciousness of sin. Uh, but in those sacrifices there is a reminder of sins. Every year, for it is not possible that the blood of the bulls and goats could take away sins. Therefore, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, you had no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do your will, O God. Previously saying, sacrifice and offering, burnt offerings and offerings for sin, you did not desire, nor had pleasure in them, which are offered according to the law. Then he said, behold, I have come to do your will, O God. He takes away the first, that he may establish the second. By that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Christ Jesus, uh, or Jesus Christ once and for all, or once for all. The new worship gives boldness in uh, verse 11, friends. Now, I hope you guys can see me okay, because my, uh, my little uh, stand uh, doesn't want to seem to uh, stay still, or not stay still, but... Uh, it uh, doesn't want to work very well sometimes. So, all right, there it is. All right, so we got it loaded, friends. The anchor channel is loaded. All right. So, Bible study in the Book of Hebrews, Orthodox study Bible, friends. Uh, now. In 12, but this man, after, after he had offered one sacrifice, uh, sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God, from that time waiting till his enemies are made his footstool. Uh, for by one offering he has perfected for those who are being sanctified. But the Holy Spirit also uh, also witnesses to us after that he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and into their minds. I will write them when he adds their sins and their lawless deeds. I will remember no more. See, he promised us that. Uh, he will not, oh, he won't remember the sins anymore, friends. Their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Uh, now, where there is remission of these, there is no longer uh, an offering for sin. Amen. All right, so something's going on with the computer here. I don't know. All right, so. It's still working. I don't know what it's doing, but we're still, it's still there somewhere. Uh, amen. Just kind of blanked out here. All right. Now, where there is no remission or a remission of these, there is no longer an offering of or for sin. So, continuing on our Bible study, I'm just going to do a couple of chapters, friends, and then I'll give you a couple of scriptures, and that'll be the Bible study for tonight. 
uh, continue to enter and draw near. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiness or holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near uh, with a true. Now, let me see if I can get my notes out of here without ripping it apart. There we go. Hey, man. You know, I got to do something here. Uh, so, we are uh, continuing our Bible study. If I don't mark up my shirt here. Uh, continue the Bible study as we look at uh, Hebrews, friends. Now, I left off with, let us draw near with a true heart. In full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who, is, who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as he is the manner of some but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as you see the day approaching. Amen. Now, the danger of apostasy. For if we sin willfully, after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery ignorance indignation which will devour the adversaries. Anyone who has rejected Moses' law dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of uh, how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing, and insulted the Spirit of grace. For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Now, continue to persevere. But recall the former days in which after you were illuminated, you endured a great struggle with sufferings, partly while you were made a spectacle both by reproaches and tribulations, and uh, partly while you become companies or companions. Companies, what? Companions of those who were so treated. For you had uh, compassion on me and my chains and joyfully accepted the plundering of your goods, knowing that you have a better and, and an enduring, enduring possession for yourselves and an enduring. Try saying that three times fast, friends. That is uh, a lot. That's a lot to take in on that one. All right. So we're a little over an hour, friends. Uh and uh, I want to just get this, but you know, we have not gotten into Hebrews for a while, friends. We left off at chapter 10, and uh, we have not had a chance. I haven't had a chance to get in here and get this done. So, uh, but now we are on the on the Facebook page. And that's really what I the Spirit gave me to do is to, to read this in the morning. I try to get on here at 11, but that just doesn't work. I've got so much going on. And, uh you know, just kind of rest this out, but uh, we're coming up on the two o'clock hour here, friends, and uh, glad to uh, glad to do it, friends. Glad to get this message out. I'm so uh, uh, just at joy and at peace sharing the Bible scriptures with you. So, from my heart, my friends, I, I appreciate the support. Uh, I hope this helps. And like I said, I just wanted to get this this message out and uh, just uh, you know just read the Bible. It's what I, I love doing. And uh, as I got insulation falling on my face here, 
Hey Amen. I'm still trying to get the anchor loaded in. All right. So anyone who has rejected Moses' law dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant by which he has sanctified a common thing, and insulted the Spirit of grace? I just want to give that to you again. Uh, For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine. I know him who said, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord, and again the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I wanted to give that to you again, uh, just to make sure that we we get it, you know. Uh, Continuing, or continue to persevere, but recall the former days in which you, uh, after you were illuminated, you endured a great struggle with sufferings, partly while you were made a spectacle both of reproaches, and I wanted to see. I wanted to just give that to you again. Oh my gosh, what's going on with this one? All right, so hang on, friends. It's still going. All right. Uh, now tribulations, and partly while you became companions of those who were so treated, for you had compassion on me in my chains and joyfully accepting the plundering of your goods knowing that you have a better and enduring possession for yourself in heaven. Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you uh, have need of endurance, so that you, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. See, we've got to do this, friends. We've got to get this out. Uh, so, uh, for yet a little while, and he who is coming will end, will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Uh, but we are not of those who draw back to perdition, but of those who believe to the saving of the soul. See, that's what, we, that's friends, that's what we are. We're uh, soul catchers, saving the soul. Amen. So let me read 30 again, friends. You got to check this out. This is why these are so important. Uh, amen. And, okay, so we got internet. It's saying that we don't, but I know we do. Uh, all right, so, chapter 11. Let's read into this here, friends. Faith's hope. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by, if the elders obtain a good testimony, by faith we understand, uh, hang on, friends. We are trying to record here. It's uh, having some technical again. Uh, my gosh. So, we're going to... Is it live? Are we live? Okay. All right. Looks like we're still on. All right. So, I just started chapter 11 here, friends. Face hope. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by uh, by it the elders obtain a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. And uh, as I look at the uh, as I look at the definition, uh, Amen. Of uh, let's see, where are we at? Well, my whole anchor. I just lost the whole anchor page. So hang on a sec. Um. All right, so we're in 11. Now, let's check this out because I have the uh, the study Bible here, friends. In 11.1, this is not so much a definition of faith as it is a description of how faith works, especially 
during hard times. It encourages uh, Jewish Christians discouraged by persecution. Things hoped for, not seen, a vision of the future, have uh, encouraged the people of God throughout history. But the invisible is often fulfilled. Uh, it's often fulfilled. Now, how much more should those persevere who have inherited the promise, knowing God under the new covenant? Amen. Uh, all right. So, faith from creation to the flood. Uh, and it's still trying to go. I don't know what is up with Anchor. I don't know what's up with the internet here. Uh, Man. All right, so I hope my page didn't crash. All right, so faith from creation to the flood. By, by faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Now, God testifying of his gifts, and through it, he became uh, dead, uh, still speaks. And by faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God uh, must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. See, friends, that's what I was trying to get at. That's why Hebrews is so important. Uh, that's right there uh, was the reason that I wanted to do this. Well, I didn't. The Spirit gave me this and said, this is what you need to, uh, you need to share. You need to read this. Have them open it up and look. Uh, so, it says in 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. By faith Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear. He prepared an ark uh, for the saving of his household, by which he con uh, condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. Now see, that's why this is so important, friends. Uh, amen. That's why this is so, so important. Now, uh, by faith Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. See, this is something we got to pay attention to in this message. That's why I'm reading it. Uh, so, that's why I wanted to get this message out. So, uh, faith from Abraham to Joseph. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. Uh, by faith, uh, he dwell in the land of promise, as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, their heirs with him of the same promise. Uh, for he waited for the city which was has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. By faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man and him as good as dead were born as many as the stars in the skies in multitude, uh, innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore. Uh, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off was assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland, and truly, if they are called in mind the country from which uh, they had come out, 
they would have had opportunity to return. Uh, all right. 16 by, or but now they desire a better uh, that is a heavenly country. Before God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city uh, for them. Uh, by, and as we look at 17, by faith Abraham, when he is, was tested, offered up Isaac. That's a uh, key scripture there, friends. And that's what I always go to as we call this the Abraham faith. Um, amen. And my computer's going crazy. I don't know what's going on. I pray right now over the blood that it just keeps working. So, amen. Uh, so, we'll continue. So, that's what I always call it, friends, the Abraham faith. Uh but, or by faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, and he, uh, he who had received the promises, offered up his only begotten son, uh, of whom it was said, In Isaac your seed shall be called. Oh my gosh, friends, there it is, right there. Your seed shall be called concluding God, that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from which he had also received in a figurative sense. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning on the top of his staff. Uh... Blessed, uh, he blessed the sons of Joseph and worshiped leaning on the top of his staff. Okay. By faith, Joseph, when he was dying, made mention of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. Okay. What happened here? All right. Seven one. So, um, well, unfortunately, my friends, my podcast over at uh, Anchor crashed, and apparently it did not take. So it looks like I'm going to have to go. Uh, I'm going to have to go basically uh, back over and uh, redo it again because apparently it crashed and it didn't take it. So, I may just hang out and go do a live one right uh, tomorrow or something right after that, but I'll be doing that and figure that out. So, oh my gosh, typical, uh, but we are upgrading, friends. We're, we're going to get some new computers here anyway, so that's okay. All right, let's get on to the Bible study, friends. I know it's late. Are you still awake, friends? We got to do a Bible study. Uh, I know it drifts, but I got to get this Bible study done here. Uh, so, faith from Moses to Joshua. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were af not afraid of the king's command. By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God and to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, uh, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than, he, than the treasures in Egypt, for he looked to the reward. That's what we got to do. By faith he overtook Egypt, uh, not fearing. See, he had no fear. Uh, all right, so the wrath of the king... For he endured as seeing him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he who destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, whereas the Egyptians attempted or attempting to do so were drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down 
after they were encircled for seven days. And by faith, the harlot Rahab did not perish with those who did not believe, or who did not believe, when she had received the spies with peace. Faith of other Israelites. And what more shall I say, for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and uh, Jephthah, Jephthah uh, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, and escaped the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were made strong, because valiant in battle turned in flight the armies of the aliens. Uh, right there, see. Uh, women received their dead raised to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better uh, resurrection. Still others had trial of mockings and scornings, yet, and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were tempted, and were slain with a sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and dens and caves of the earth. Now face perfection. And all these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise. God have provided something better for us, friends, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. Amen. All right, friends, we are going to stop right there in uh, in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, friends. Uh, that's what we'll do next. Uh, amen. And, uh, so we'll stop right there. We'll continue. Uh, uh, we will continue, uh, that next Bible study. It is so good, friends. Uh, I've got to keep going on this. We, uh, st- uh, the, uh, the spirit gave me that and said, there's something we're missing. Uh, and that we do need to uh, continue to read that diligently, see, friends. He said diligently, uh, as we diligently seek him, friends. So, all right, well, it looks like I'm going to do a, uh, I'll, I'll jump over back over to uh, Anchor, because uh, it looks like it, it just wanted to shut off, and I apparently... I missed, it just crashed on me, so I'm going to have to go back and do this again. So, we're going to run this again tomorrow. I'll reschedule. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Uh, That's it. I think we're just going to wrap this up, and uh, I will do the chapter 12 uh, tomorrow. Friends, look to Jesus. Uh, There's some serious going on in that book, and uh, we need to read that, and we need to just get that out. So uh, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much, friends. I hope uh, you guys can hear me uh, as uh, I finally got the headset microphone that I was looking for. I uh, happened to stumble upon a place and we actually found that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, lots of notes, lots of stuff going on, friends. I appreciate you guys' time. Uh, check out Spreaker, friends. Uh, it is uh, We were recording the whole time and uh, doing the podcast. So, uh, stay tuned, friends. Uh, I got to warm up my coffee. Get some sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Pastor Rick Rell here live. Uh, in the mosquitoes, goats, and coyotes, friends, in the new studio. Uh, I got to get this anchor thing fixed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned. Stay in the Bible. Uh, just go over some notes here, friends. And uh, thanks for hanging in there with me. I know these Bible studies are long, but they're really important. There's a lot of stuff going on in there that the Spirit wants me to give and share. And, uh, you know, if we ain't got time for Christ, if we ain't got time to to hang out as I got bit again by a mosquito, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Uh, You know, we got to spend some time with Christ, friends. 
Do you have the time for Christ? Because he had time for us. And uh, I know sometimes these things run a little longer. They're a little over, almost two hours on this one. That's amazing. Um, but I appreciate you guys' time. And uh, I'm going to fix this anchor. I'll see you tomorrow at, back at Facebook again. And I appreciate your support on the channel. Uh, tell your friends, uh, you know, that, uh, hey, we've got a Bible study going on. Got to get the Word of God, friends. Hearing, faith comes by hearing. Hearing comes by the Word of God, right? All right, there you go. More stuff tomorrow or later today. Whenever I get up, I get some coffee and, and uh, go to bed in peace, uh, friends, because, uh, man, so much to give you, so much to share, and so much to teach you, friends. So uh, that's it. I'll see you later. Um, Shabbat Shalom. And uh, just thank you guys for hanging out with me so much. Uh, my channel is trying to reconnect. It apparently, uh, the Wi-Fi. I'm still having some Wi-Fi issues, so hopefully this this played through. Uh, all right, friends, there it is. I'm out of here. Thank you for spending some time with me. I know it's been long, but there's a lot. I got a, a lot to get out to you. Uh, 25, 35 minutes, an hour is just not enough time. Uh, Spirit keeps giving me so much. So. That's it. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Friends, get some rest. Be at peace. I'll talk to you soon. Amen. Thanks for the support on the channels and I uh, appreciate you guys. All right. Have a good morning and uh, I'll see you again soon, friends. Amen. And thanks for watching. All right. Spreaker, that's it. I'll see you later. Amen.